Hello, yes, today we will be talking about hockey pucks and Werther's Originals. I really hope I can make, make something out of this. So if you remember the last episode where my cooling system decided to unalive itself, you'll have seen at the end that my front trans mount that I just put in two weeks ago also decided that it was tired of this mortal coil. And so now I need to replace it. Now this is very, very, very common on these engines when they're making anything more than stock power on specifically these, the Bonnevilles and the Rivieras because they have that style of front trans mount instead of the dog bones like the W bodies have. Those go bad even at stock power. <laughs> so two weeks with probably 300 horsepower? Yeah, okay, that happens. And the annoying thing is, is there really isn't an aftermarket solution. There is one, but it's very, very expensive. So I thought I would try to make my own because being the absolute genius engineer that I am, surely I can do a better job than GM. Low bar, I know, but here we go. These are hockey pucks, uh, well. These are hockey pucks. I'm sure you all see where this is going. Usually what people do with those hockey pucks is they'll take some all thread, they'll stack up three of those hockey pucks, drill holes, and then run the all thread through, bolt it all together. It works fine, but it, it, the way that that motor mount works is that the engine sits on it. Like when you're just at a rest, the engine gravity sitting down on that mount, it's fine. It's cushioned, your vibrations aren't getting transmitted, but when you accelerate, now it's under tension and you've got metal on metal. You're just pulling on that all thread and that doesn't feel all that great. Also, you have to go buy all thread and all that other kind of stuff. So what I did is I bought this. It's a box, it's also upside down. I bought this. This is Master Pro part number K700538. It is a sway bar in link from a 1980 Buick Sentry, I think. Now this is actually the same style of in link that this car comes with. This one's just a bit longer. And this is how they typically go together. You've got your sway bar that goes here and then your control arm goes here and this locates them relative to each other. What I'm gonna be doing is getting rid of this middle section. These two bushings, this spacer, this stuff isn't really strong enough, I don't think, but I do think this will be strong enough for the stretching. So this bushing and this uh, funny washer thing are gonna go on the top. Yeah, I guess they'll go on the top. Those will go on top of the arm coming off the front of the transmission. Then we'll have that arm and then we'll have our hockey pucks, three of them. And then we'll have the subframe and then we'll have underneath the subframe, this other bushing, this washer, and the bottom of the nut. Now, the idea is that when you're under acceleration, you are pulling on this whole assembly through these two bushings at the end, and that should keep our NVH down to reasonable levels, I hope. Now, this is a, uh, I basically bought this based on length. I went to O'Reilly's and was like, hey, I need a sway bar like this, but uh, as close to eight inches long as you can get. This is 7.25, it's about an inch and a quarter longer than one of the sway bars on this, and I think it's going to be long enough to get this done. So let's get the stock motor mount back out. Oh no, I have to take that bracket off. Uh, let's get it done. So this is our old motor mount. We can see it's already cracked down here. It's been pulling loose. There's no hydraulic fluid left in it. Here is our new motor mount. Roughly the same height. I might need to add one more hockey puck in there, but we'll see. And it's going to install, uh, I guess I'll put it like this. I don't know, we'll find out. I've got to put the uh, bracket back in because I'm going to I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bracket in, put as many hockey pucks in there as I can, and then pull the engine down on it, which will preload the mount slightly. I think that's kind of the way that I wanna go. We'll see. So down there you can see the bracket with my three hockey pucks stacked underneath it. I was told three was a proper amount for this application. They loosely fit under there with the engine unsupported, so they are going to preload the engine slightly more forward than normal. I don't think that's necessarily a problem or anything, but really all that's left now is to uh, shove the bolt down there. This is all the bolt looks like. It's the bolt, the washer, and the top bushing, and then the shaft. And that is going to go through all that mess. And I'm sure that the alignment is gonna be perfect the first time. 
the first the first time. Hey, I actually got it. Wow. So that is now rubber isolated on the top and bottom. And let's make sure this actually sticks out the bottom enough for me to get. Can't tell. I cannot see the hole. I'm gonna have to do this blind. I'm putting this arrangement on the bottom and I'm gonna put a lot of Loctite in there before it goes in. This is very difficult to show, but there you can see the bottom bushing and that weird nut thing sticking out the bottom of the car, going up into its little recessed hole. I just have to uh, somehow find a way to keep that from spinning while tightening this whole mess from the top. I'll let you know what I come up with there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some uh, locking pliers on there and uh, something else to keep those from spinning, maybe? I don't know. Hey, 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 that is nice and tight. Went on real easy too. Once I got the uh, bottom tightened up enough that I couldn't spin it by hand anymore, I was able to run the top down with my uh, impact and the bottom just kind of grabbed and it's all good to go. Now I just need to uh, tighten up these bolts here on that bracket and then we can give this thing a start and a drive and see how the NVH is and uh, you know also the horrendous drivetrain clunking that I was getting from before when uh, the engine was uh, a flip flopping around. That was legitimately a very quick and easy little project. Let's uh, give it a start up, see what the NV NVH is like. Uh, it's real telling during engine start what it's going to be like. Feel stock. I can feel maybe the very slightest tingle of some additional engine vibration through the steering wheel, but if I just sit here, ain't nothing. Well, that is all very promising. But the big question is, how does it drive? And this is a car for driving after all, not for sitting and free revving. I mean, it's pretty good at that too because the supercharger noises, but out we go. Well, just cruising along here, I have to say I'm impressed. This doesn't feel any different than stock. And there is no weird clunking noises when I get on and off the gas. But let's see how it handles uh No engine vibration or weird noises being transmitted to the cabin uh, under a heavy acceleration, so that's a win. Yeah, that feels great. It's a, it's a bit more responsive now too, since there's not slop in the powertrain that I'm having to take up every time I start accelerating. That is great. And this cost me like 25 bucks. That's, that's as cheaper, cheaper than a crappy factory style off-brand mount from Rock Auto. And it's better. <laughs> that, I can't believe how well that worked. Wow, if you have one of these cars, a Riviera, Bonneville, or Park Avenue that uses this kind of mount, even stock, you should do this because it's never gonna break. Uh, the only thing that could break is maybe I stretch that bolt out. I don't know what that bolt is. I'm assuming it's a grade eight, grade eight bolt since it's meant for, uh, you know, compressive loads because it's a sway bar end link. I think it'll be fine. It didn't snap immediately, so I don't think it's ever gonna. And it's uh, dampened from like really harsh shocks. Like it's not getting each pulse of the engine through the bolt because it's got the dampening of the end link bushings there taking that up for it. So I think we're good to go here. I think this is a big old win. I'm pleased. The only thing that I have slight regrets about is that I didn't take a whole bunch of extra time to make sure that my uh, holes in the hockey pucks were all perfectly centered. <laughs> So there's, it's kind of like a, a leaning tower of hockey pucks, which doesn't affect anything other than how it looks. So I think I can live with it. Let's do one more pull. <laughs> 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 
If you do want to make this for your own car, check out the affiliate links down in the description. Uh, those have the uh, sway bar in link and the hockey pucks that I used. It's a great value. You get like 10 of them. <laughs> you only need three, but you get 10. It's enough for three cars and uh, one, one, one hockey session, I guess.